Good morning, is it good afternoon? Nan Whaley, Mayor of the City of Dayton. Um, I, can I just make one comment to you all? Since you're all uh, headed down here, I noticed that some of them, some of you all left terrible trash in the neighborhood yesterday. So I ask you to clean up after yourselves. You guys are guests here. Um, it's hard on our community already for these businesses. And so please take your garbage and put it in a trash can when you leave. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. All right, so um, we don't have much to report on the investigation, so I thought it'd just be good to do a fast uh, discussion here. Um, um, I'm pleased with uh, the steps that Governor DeWine has made this morning. I think he has listened to the people of Dayton. Um, of course, are they steps uh, as big as I would take? Of course not. You know, we all walk in different strides, but uh, considering that last year I was fighting the state legislature about not having guns in daycare centers and House Bill 178 is a bill that is getting rid of concealed carry. I'm pleased that we're talking about a conversation in a direction that I think is more appropriate uh, um, uh, around common sense gun reform. Uh, with that, I'll open it up with any questions. Mayor, your reaction to President Trump coming tomorrow? Look, uh, you know, he's the President of the United States, and as he has an official capacity as President, you know, on the official capacity of mayor, uh, I will greet him here. What, 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 what message would you like to hear? Knowing that there's going to be some protesters at City Hall at one protesting the president. Well, Mike, as you've covered me all the time, you know I have lots of protesters all the time, and even my friends protest me from time to time. So I'm glad that they're using their right to give a, a free speech comment. Uh, and look, I know that you know he, you know he's made this bed and he's got a lie in it. You know uh, he hasn't. You know um, his rhetoric has been painful for many in our community. Uh, and I think that people should stand up and say they're not happy if they're not happy that he's coming. Do you know where he's going to come? Do you think the I do not. Do you think the governor's proposal would have stopped Connor Metz? Look, I haven't gotten into the details of it yet. Um, I think certainly some of the mental health questions that he's asking, and I've been really clear about this, you know, I'm not Pollyannish to think that we have to, you know, we're going to find the perfect answer of legislation that's going to solve every single gun problem down the road. but. We need to start working and moving towards that direction, and I think Governor DeWine has done that. I definitely think the actions of, of you know, both him, Senator Brown, Senator Portman, Congressman Turner, coming to Dayton on Sunday, seeing this site, and then witnessing the love and grief and outpouring and the anger of our community has had an effect on him. What about Can you I'm, say if this uh, incident is politically motivated? What incident? The, the, the incident of Trump coming? What, you know. No, 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 the, the oh. shooting. Um, no, I mean, I, I have really no new news on the investigation today, so. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think that the president can unite, help unite Dayton tomorrow? Everyone has it in their power to be a force to bring people together, and everybody has it in their power to be a force to bring people apart. That's up to the president of the United States. Mayor, Mayor, one of the things about ban on assault weapons. What do you think about these weapons? Look, I'm in favor of a ban on assault weapons. Um, I've always been in favor of that, even before this. I think that. You know, this gun is a problematic uh, uh, issue. If, you know, the issue is if he didn't have a gun like that, we wouldn't see so much fast and death and just, uh, death that happened in 30 seconds that it occurred. Uh, and I shared that with the president when he taught, when he called me Sunday evening. Mayor, do you believe that the president will help bring this community together tomorrow? Look, I have no sense of what's in President Trump's mind at all, right? I can only hope that as President of the United States, that he's coming here because he wants to add value to our community and he recognizes that that's what our community needs. That's Are, all I can Have help. they reached out for a meeting with you, Mayor? The, yes, they have. And is that going to happen? Yes. Do you and know Mayor, about the schedule and what he's going to be doing? When he's I do here? not have a d information on and the Mayor, schedule. And Mayor, after his remarks wrapped up yesterday, what was the first thing that went through your mind? Okay, well, we're, I'm sorry remarks yesterday can you give me some uh, yes uh, you know when when he addressed oh. the nation about these shootings when also he addressed the people of, of Toledo uh, yeah uh, um, look I'm disappointed with his remarks I mean I think they fall fell really short he mentioned like gun issues one time um, I think you know watching the president over the past few years on the issues of guns he's been um, I don't know if he knows what he believes frankly and when he did miss misspeak and say Toledo instead of Dayton what was your immediate reaction uh, my immediate reaction is like um, people from the coast never understand Ohio and they think all Ohio cities are the same and 
it's an exhausting issue that we have all the time and that if you know we had people from um, power centers really invest and pay attention to our communities we'd all be better off. The governor's plan for early intervention um, it seems like it was very applicable here. Right I think definitely you know the governor is trying to make steps that are have affected here. He has been very clear he called me last night about this we had a discussion about it you know he said look I don't know if these things would have changed Dayton but I think uh, Dayton happening has changed his movement on some of these things. I should also say I think the governor is working on these for a few months. He said that to me. So this isn't like something that, you know, he, he got together, maybe it sped up that comp process, but I think he's been working on this for You have all these teachers in town right now, and so early intervention seems like it's very applicable today and for Sunday morning. Right, with the Dayton Public School Convocation and right as we go back to school and, uh, you know, having those ass assets. And let's also be clear, like, the mental health issue that we're talking about to increase mental health capacity in this in this state has been an issue since the Great Recession. So, you know, having just that um, done, I don't think it has per se as much to do, I'm sorry, to do with the gun issue. It does have a little bit, but just people, we need mental health access overall. We see that with the opioid epidemic. We see that every day in our communities. We see that with people that have survived this. You know, we need more mental health access. Is enough being done at the federal level to address gun violence? Absolutely not. I mean, look, I think, you know, the, the federal, you know, what, what do you see in D.C.? You see a lot of nothing happening on a lot of stuff. And gun, uh, guns, common sense gun reform is definitely an example where nothing's happened. So, yeah, we want something to happen there, too. Is there an update on the investigation? No, we don't have much of an update today, so that's why I just came here really quickly to talk to you. Are you going to express these views to the president when you see him tomorrow? Absolutely. You are? Absolutely. You're going to tell him how unhelpful he's been? Look, I mean, if I'm telling you, I'm going to tell him. I'm, I'm, he probably will hear it from you all better than he hears it from me, but yeah. What are you going to tell him? Like how, how unhelpful he's been on this. I mean, yesterday his comments weren't very helpful to the issue around guns. Do you believe he's coming too soon? Look, he's the President of the United States. He does his calendar. <laughs> I do mine. Mayor, your reaction to the comments by Kansas Oh. Uh... They're really just heartbreaking. I mean, I think here you have a woman that lives 40 minutes from here, and for her to spew such hate in a community that our community is about inclusivity, our community is about diversity, our community is about bringing people together, and to say that on the heels of um, uh, uh, these deaths, uh, I think she just represents like what is so disgusting about American politics today. And I commend the Ohio Republican Party for calling for her resignation. I commend the profile and courage, the Warren County Commissioner Shannon Jones, who always speaks truth to power. And I'm glad, you know, I hope, I hope she resigns because that kind of hate does not, and there's a lot of interesting stuff in the Ohio State House, but definitely that does not belong there. Have you had a chance to meet with any of the victims yet? No, the one? victims have their victim advocates, and so, um, uh, I, they have not asked to reach out, and we give them their space, and we'll continue to do that. I do plan on visiting the hospitals this afternoon. Mayor. Going back to Governor DeWine's uh, address this morning, he talked a lot about mental health. Here in Dayton, we've had all those tornadoes. Now this, how important do you think that's going to be at the start of the school year now? I think mental health is a really, really big issue. Um, I think guns are a big issue, too. I want us to be careful to not just put them together as one. They, they are connected, but we have a mental health issue that affects uh, gun violence. And we do have an issue with guns. So, uh, you know, the straw purchase part that he talks about, um, the background checks are really, really important. And to if you just do mental health and don't do uh, gun work on common sense gun legislation, we will not be successful in this fight. And early have identification been... of kids through social media and things of that nature? So yeah, we're I mean, I'm pleased with these, these um, flag laws and I'm glad that Ohio is going to, you know, hopefully Ohio will be one as well. Have you been briefed yet on this alleged ex-girlfriend's um, essay about some of those red flags and what are the, your concerns with that? No, I have not been. You know, I let the police do their investigation and I think it's important to give them space and then when this time they'll, they'll um, brief us, but I know that they're doing everything as quickly as they can. Mayor, have you heard any more about what happened with the high school investigation into the hit list? And no, I don't have any updates on the investigation this morning, this afternoon. Are you guys good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Should we expect an update from police in the near future?